Howdy y'all, how you doing today? I really don't have much in the way of music. I'll give you a little hit of, of the first song that, uh, that I ever actually really learned to play on the guitar, uh, Black Sabbath, of course, because you know, it was a long time ago. And uh, the song is Paranoid and it's, it's super simple and it's just uh, Tony Iommi, well, I can't play left-handed, but you know, Tony Iommi. Sorry, so that, that's like Tony Iommi and uh, Randy Rhodes put together because uh, Tony Iommi just played it. Finished with my woman because she wouldn't help me with my mind. Uh, Randy Rhodes put that in there. So it's a, uh, well, it's just a, it's, it's an E. And then uh, you know, on those next so just on the uh, D and the G string and it's just a hammer on two hammer on And then it just finished with my woman, but she couldn't help me with my man to Because I am standing over time. That's the only problem with a Bigsby too, because when you do that, you got to put it back in. So basically, I guess it's just a E, a D, and. What is that? Anyway, that was the first song I ever learned on the guitar, and you probably don't care. And <laughs> uh, I kind of didn't really want to talk about that anyway. I'm kind of here because uh, today was a very strange day for me. I did. Um, I had like a reverse day today for me. It was. I had a Zoom meeting with my oncologist first, so hey, before I forget, if y'all could like, comment, and subscribe, I still am looking for uh, a thousand subscribers because I'd like to give away a guitar, but I have that mark set, a thousand subscribers, and, and I'll give away a guitar, so um, the, the, we got that out of the way, right, the disclaimers, blah, 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 anyway, cool, so um, if we could do that, that'd be awesome, um, and uh, when I talked to my oncologist today, we're basically, I totally just said you know you go more i mean we both want to set me up for success she has a different end goal than i do hers is surgery mine is to not have surgery um but we both have the same goal at the moment this step we both have the same goal so um i said hey man let's do this you know can we do this can we do this and she's like well we can do this and then there are some things that could be like quote unquote experiment she's like well, well, you know, there have been some encouraging things in the past few, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we, we could try that, but I'm, you know, blah. And so to me, it was like the whole odds maker thing. And what happened was I turned the ha the, uh, the odds. Around. I, I, I had I convinced the house that their odds were wrong and that we could do better. Um, so we're, we're, we're taking this from a different point of view since, uh, you know, odds makers basically are just a point of view. That's what you think. Um, and that's all this is. So it is just whoo, whoo, the whole thing. And that's to me what the doctors are doing. And I convinced her that maybe we should go a little bit heavier because we want to knock this thing out, man. I'm not working. I'm on disability. I've set myself up. It's a different scenario completely than the first time. So hit me with it. I'm going to see a psychiatrist on, on Tuesday. So they're going to 
poke me on Monday, send me home with a fanny pack and I'm going to talk to the psychiatrist with the fanny pack. So um, if anything is going to happen at that point in time, then they should be able to see it. And I warned them that I might not be me. They said, come as you are. I said, huh. first time I heard that one, but cool, let's try it. Um, and uh, so we're going to try this and they're going to see where I'm at and, and what's going on. And uh, I'm hoping from there that with that baseline, someone will be able to along the way, and I'm hoping it's me, but if it's not me, that someone else will be able to see something going wrong. So with that in mind, that's why we're going to up everything a little bit um, and uh, get some more, uh, well, they're going to give me more steroids too. Um, and uh, we're going to see just what, what happens with this first dose. And if it's okay, we might hit me a little bit more. Um, so we're going to find out. It's a... Uh, it's a it's an eight week thing so um and you get a break after every week so the first cycle we're going to see what happens and then uh discuss it i guess before the next one and maybe it'll get upped and maybe it won't but things are definitely going to get weird around here so um with that uh you know it's going to be it's going to be a strange weekend for me all around i have a hyperbaric thing on saturday sunday uh actually going to have fun go with my sister and brother-in-law to a uh, brunch on sunday so i might not have a video then but then monday i get and tuesday i get the psychiatrist wednesday i go back to get unhooked uh so Thursday, I guess next week, um, I should have a break by next Thursday. Um, so it's going to be strange and interesting. Tune in. We'll see what happens around these parts. Uh, and yeah, man, thanks thanks for watching. Thanks for, for tuning in. Um, and it could be weird. It could be interesting. It could be entertaining. Um, and yeah, please watch just to see what happens. Just because I would be curious as well. And I am curious. And if you guys see something, let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope you all is having a great day. Always look up. He's there for you. And I'll see you then. Peace.